My name is Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com and today I'm going to show you how I built this DIY backyard movie theater. Nothing says summer like outdoor movie nights, so I've been wanting to figure out a way to make that possible for a while now. The problem is that putting together any kind of outdoor theater system can get really expensive really quickly. So keeping that in mind, I tried my best to keep my spending within reason for this project. I decided to create an all-in-one theater unit that can be put up easily when I want to use it and taken down when it's not being used to avoid getting damage from any rain or weather. So here's what I came up with. The briefcase, as I call it, has a DVD Blu-ray player, a Roku player that has Netflix, YouTube TV, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and HBO Now, and a built-in speaker that can be set up in under two minutes. So here's how I put it together. To get started, I did have to spend some money to buy a projector and a screen, and I picked up both on Amazon. I went a little over budget from what I was hoping for a projector, but I wanted to get something that was HD and well-reviewed, so I ended up buying this BenQ projector. I'll link all the stuff I bought in the description down below in case you guys wanna purchase any of the same stuff. So once those came in, I installed the pull-down screen onto my backyard pergola first. This is a 100-inch screen and was super easy to install with just a few screws. Next, I started laying out the briefcase. I measured the projector and cut a piece of scrap plywood slightly larger than the projector. I measured and marked where the mounting holes were on the bottom of the projector and drilled out the corresponding holes to attach it with some machine screws. I decided to add a handle onto the plywood because I wanted to be able to lug this thing around and be able to take it down easily. So I laid out a basic shape and cut it out with the jigsaw. Then I used some Forstner bits to drill a couple holes and connected those with the jigsaw as well. And then I used a router bit to round over the edges so it was smooth on my hand. From there, I cut down a couple small strips of plywood to act as the sides for the box and attach them. Then I cut a larger piece of plywood for the other side. So that's the basic form for the box. Next, I installed the cheapest Blu-ray DVD player that I could find from Best Buy to the bottom of the box with some heavy-duty double-sided tape, and I mounted the Roku to that. Next, I mounted a power strip to plug everything in and ran all the wiring. And then from there, it was time to figure out how to actually mount the box. So I thought about building some kind of basic shelf off the pergola, but I didn't like the idea of it sitting empty and being this big eyesore when I'm not using it. So I decided to use some stuff I had from my camera and lighting gear that I use for my videos. I mounted what's called a baby plate to the top of the box with some screws. I have these installed in the ceiling of my shop to hold my production lights as well, and I happen to have an extra one lying around, so it ended up working out. From there, I used what's called a gobo head, which is this adjustable cam clamping bracket. It makes it really easy to adjust the angle of the box up and down to line up the picture, and can be easily hand tightened, so I figured it worked great for this. And then I had to figure out how to mount it to the pergola. To keep it easy, I decided to drill a hole in the pergola and add a small piece of threaded rod and a few nuts and washers to hold it in place. It's pretty minimal and you don't really notice it too much when the box isn't on there, so I like that you don't have an eyesore. For now, I just ran an extension cord over the top of the pergola to power everything. Everything plugs in via a single cord from the power strip which makes it really easy. And then finally, I had to figure out the audio situation. The speaker that's built into the projector sucks. So I went and looked at as many options as I could, and I found that most of them required a receiver and wiring up additional speakers. And when you added up all that extra cost, it got pretty expensive. So rather than go that route, I decided to use a portable Bose speaker, which I already owned, and build it right into the unit itself. To mount it to the box, I just made a simple holder out of some small pieces of plywood, drilled some holes for the wiring, and hooked everything back up. In hindsight, I would have done all this on the front end if I knew I was gonna go that route with the speaker, but I didn't know. The speaker isn't crazy loud compared to exterior sound systems you can buy, I'm sure, but it's plenty loud for anything I'll be using it for, and since I already owned it, the price was right. So that's it for this project. I'm actually really excited about how it came out and how easy it is to set up and take down. I've sat out there a bunch of nights and watched a bunch of shows and sports already, and it's awesome. And it's gonna be really nice to have when some people come over this summer. All in, I spent about $700 on this project, which is a lot, but the majority of that was actually the projector itself. So you definitely could do it for cheaper if you bought a less expensive projector. There's a bunch out there, but I don't really have enough experience with them to know what's worthwhile. So just make sure you do your research and pick something that's gonna work for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. As I mentioned, I'll have links down below for everything I used in this project, so check those out if you're interested. And if it's your first time visiting the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you never miss out on any of the new content that I put out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.